All right, so remember our last part, we put our germinating pods in our container, put it in a plastic bag, a see-through bag, or saran wrap, doesn't matter. Just make sure it's tied off. Now you have to think about it. After these seeds have done, are started germinating and they're growing, they can't live for long in these little pods. So the next thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to transfer it. Well, what are we gonna transfer it to? So, to make it simple, I have an old salsa jar. There's the first step that you can put your uh, germinated seeds into, and we're gonna paint these. So, I have three colors here. I have green, red, and black. So, and then I also have paintbrushes, paper towel, water, and a palette. I like to use an old piece of cardboard. So we're gonna squirt some paint out onto my palette here. There's some red, we'll do some green. There's some green and a little bit of black, not too much. Perfect. All right, now you're gonna use your paintbrush. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your red and you wanna paint about right here and you wanna leave the top of the jar for a, a different colored paint. So let's go ahead and paint this red. All right, once you've painted your jar red, leaving the top part of it blank, go ahead and put your paint, your brush in the water, clean it off. We're gonna stand my jar up. So the good thing about using stuff from home is that you don't have to buy anything. So I said, like I said before, I used a salsa jar. You could use a jelly jar or a pizza sauce jar or an old peanut butter jar. Whatever you have at home that's empty, don't go emptying something just to make this. Um, if you don't have anything that's empty, you can also use a water bottle and cut the top off. Doesn't really matter as long as you have something bigger than your germating pods. Alright, so my brush is clean just about. Yep, we'll leave it just like that. Alright, now it's going to pick your jar up again. We're going to use the green. And we're going to do the green on the top part here. So, and if you don't have paint at home, that's okay. You can always use pieces of paper and you could paint little straw, you could uh, color little strawberries on them and glue them onto the jar. It doesn't really matter. You don't even have to paint your jar like a strawberry. If you haven't figured out what this bird doing yet. You can do anything you want. If you want to paint it like a rainbow, paint it like a rainbow. If you want to paint it like a unicorn, you can do that too. If you want to leave it blank. All right, so after you have painted the top of your jar green, you're gonna take some paint and you're gonna kind of make some leaves here like you would to mimic a strawberry. So you're just gonna kind of pull it down however you want it. There. All right, so your jar should look something like this now. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your black paint and this is the fun part. You're gonna use your fingers to make the little seeds on your jar. So I'm gonna use my, my pointer finger. I'm gonna dip in the black just a little bit, not too much. And I'm just gonna kinda make little dots. You can make them big, you can make them little. And there's your cute little strawberry jar. Now you're gonna wanna let this set to dry. Here's another view of it. Just kinda give you a little view. It's nice and cute like a little strawberry. So you're gonna let that dry. 